Pilates and mobility. And we're gonna start with our feet. We're actually gonna take the toes in and forward, in and forward. So it's a little awkward feeling. One foot at a time, stepping in and out with just toes, keeping the balls of our feet down, sorry, the heels of our feet down. Four, three, two, one. Now both toes in, heels out, little calf raises, squeezing up and down, up and down. Try not to fall forward. <laughs> That's a thing for me. <laughs> Five, four, three, two. Keep the heels wide and then take the toes wide. So now it's getting a wider stance and we're going back up into calf raises, squeezing up and down, waking everything up from the bottom up. Squeezing up and down. Five, four, three, I can't count in proper rhythm. <laughs> Eight, nine, five, two, one, release it down. Toes forward, straight leg, tick tock it to the side. Hey, at least I'm counting in English. I could be counting in German, so really confuse people. So straight leg, tick tock, side to side. Get, make sure you're giving yourself that little stretch. And four, three, two. Now focusing on the right knee, bring it in and out. Bring it in and out, and yes, this is gonna move into your hips as well, but we're trying to get the knee used to a little bit of a movement in and out, four, three, two, one, release it down, and we're gonna switch, left leg in and out. Staying off the heel of our left foot, bring it in and out. Four, three, two, one, and now just a little kick of your own bum. We're not doing the full Jane Fonda yet. This is still just the warm up. So just kick your own bum just to get the movement in. Four, three, two. Now kick it across. Don't actually kick your other knee, just kick it in front. You know, don't actually kick yourself because that would not be cool. Kick, kick, five, four, three, two. And now how about we kick to the side? <laughs> Again, don't go too high impact yet. We're just trying to get some movement in, warming up our joints and increasing our cardio just a little bit to warm up our bodies and our muscles. Four, three, two, one, feet together. Little knee loops. I love these knee loops, even though they feel kind of silly and dorky. I realize how good they are for my knees and my ankles and my feet. Rotate the knees the opposite direction, go the other way. Going around and around and around and three, two, and bring it up. Step the feet wide and I want you to lift straight leg with the hips. So is this weird crunching? Straight leg, it's a weird crunch, I know. Four, three, two. Now we're gonna switch this into heel march. And notice how much different it feels in the spine. When we're doing that side crunch, there's a lot of kind of things getting squished and it might not feel so good, <laughs> but we get movement in. We find ways to activate the smaller muscle groups. Four, three, two, still working from the ground and up. Right foot stays. We're gonna take the left leg to the side. I love these because they work the outside of our body. Exhale, squeeze up and down. Just a little kick. Now, we can take it high or tap it. Taking it faster, having fun if you want. Doing anything with the arms, just make sure you don't fall forward. Hold on to core anything for balance and stability or kick it higher, your choice. I'm feeling the bouncy vibes today. Five, four, three, two. Take that left foot forward, front and back. Just front and back. We're still standing on the right leg, so the right leg is probably gonna get a little tired soon. I'm hoping. Front and back. Now we're gonna take the left leg to the side and behind. 
Take it behind and to the side. Still just the left leg. Five, four, three, two, and step, switch. Right leg, take it low and tap it. Or take it higher, just no funky crunching of the ribs. <laughs> can do some fun dance moves or you're just like ugh, really this is Pilates not dancing that's okay too five four three two now step it to the side and behind step side behind Take it behind you to the side. Stay with me just a little longer. Five, four, three, two. Bring it in and out of this leg. Shake it up. <laughs> Make sure you're paying attention when you do that because I almost just fell on my face. <laughs> but that's okay. If I ever fall, please laugh. Make, 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 it, make it worth it. <laughs> so now... <laughs> Right foot stays. We're still doing this balance work left to right. We're going to take the left heel down. Now, to get my left heel down, I have to bend my right knee just a little. I'm not going for a full squat, but I have to bend. Because we're going to exhale, we're going to kick the toes up. Kick it up and drop. So it's an external rotation in your thigh, and you're just pointing the toes up to kick it. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Toes forward before we switch sides. Give me a little booty wiggle. <laughs> little booty shake. I have yet to read about any scientific study that proves dancing is bad for your system. So, <laughs> that's not an invitation to send me one, by the way. <laughs> Now, left foot stays, right heel out. I have to bend into my left knee just a little bit and I kick it straight up and down. Kick it up and down. By focusing on only being able to land on my heel, I have to work a lot of the smaller muscles for balance. By this external rotation kicking out to the side, I'm working the hip flexors in a different way. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now, instead of a bum wiggle, heel stomp, but yes, you get to swing the hips a little. Have a little fun. Don't worry about being precise here. Five, four, three, two. Now, stand a little wider, soften the knees. And we're just gonna swing our weight left to right and we're gonna add layers. Add the arms. A little lean and reach through the ribs. And now we're gonna turn this into a kick, kick. You can bring the hands in front, add a little jab with the leg or just like, Melanie, please don't let me fall over. <laughs> Kicking it to the side. Use those obliques to bring you back in through center. Five, four, three, two. Let's take it forward, just some kicks. And when you kick, like really just shake the leg out. Shake the tension out, shake the stress out. Don't need it, kick it away. <laughs> Kicking it to the curb if you need. Far, far beyond the curb even. <laughs> Three, two, 
again, let's grab your dumbbells or your dumbbells, whatever handheld weights you're using. So I've got, uh, they're two pounds each, dumbbells, uh, dumbbells. <laughs> so now, palms forward and in, we're moving our way up the body. A little lean forward, but not bending, just enough that we're not banging off of our hips. Squeezing to the side. Don't let the hands go lower than the thighs, out and down. We're purposely pumping a little faster, warming up the shoulders right away. Out to the side, and five, four, three, two. Now hands forward and side, forward and back. Inhale, exhale. Now we're going to speed it up, but we're not going to go as big. Still keeping our wrists at shoulder height. Don't go as big. Elbows can be soft, but we've got long arms happening here for five, four, three, two, and take them palms up and reach. Now make sure that shoulders don't come up, shoulders down. Halfway and squeeze up and down. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, squeezing up and down. Take it nice and steady so that you're not pulling those shoulders up to your ears. Five, four, three, two, and one, stay at the top, <laughs> stay at the top with me. <laughs> right elbow down and squeeze. Left elbow down, reach up, right, left. And it's not just the elbow coming down, you're using the obliques, the abdominals, to pull those ribs closer to your hips. Inhale, exhale it up. Inhale, exhale. Stay with me, we've got four, three, two, one. Bring it down to the side, shoulder height, step it in. Bring it forward and out. Go for a little walk. Keep those arms up. I know arms are probably like, no. Stay with me a little longer. Good news, five, four, three, two, Palms forward and bicep curls. Bicep curls almost feel like a bit of a break after all that shoulder work. <laughs> Squeezing up and down. And five, four, three, two, and give me one halfway, stay here. Now, keeping the elbows bent at 90 degrees, not opening to the side, but we're taking the elbows out and in. Elbows out and in. So side view. Elbows are bent, 90 degrees. Elbows are out to the shoulder height and back to ribs. Good news, we're not doing that much more of these. <laughs> Five. Four, three, two, last one. Bring the arms down. Now you can do this with or without weights. Right foot down, left leg, extend it forward, but don't let the heel touch the ground. We're gonna pull our ribs in towards our hips. We're not slouching, we're purposely contracting. So it's an exhale going straight arms and we pulse. This is mimicking the 100s when we're lying down. Eh, falling over. <laughs> straight arm, straight arm. Contract those abdominals. I know the arms are moving and you're worried about balance, but focus on the belly, the abdominals, the core muscles. Five, four, three, two. Rise up briefly. Switch weight into the left. Same thing, those ribs are gonna hug towards the hips, extend the right leg, hug down and in, straight arms and pulse. 
check in with balance. Just because I say focus on the core doesn't mean you don't check your balance. But you're not working the legs. The arms are moving, but it's the core going hoo, hoo, hoo. and simple just to get our body used to this movement then start to add a little dip go a little lower inhale exhale inhale squeeze up through the exhale and don't let the shoulders do the lifting focus on those ribs focus on the core now can we smooth out the edges and just tilt now we're not doing too many of these in case you get motion sick like I do sometimes. <laughs> Inhale and exhale it up. And four, three, two, one. Now we're gonna bend the right knee, lift up the right heel. We're gonna take the right hand down and left hand across. What we're not doing is moving the hips. So keep those hips locked. Inhale. Exhale. So side view. Inhale. Exhale to pull back. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. And we switch. Left heel lifts, left knee bends. Left arm reaches down, right hand gets in position by the shoulder, and we press up and reach across. <sighs> Inhale, exhale it back. Use the exhale to contract the abdominals. <sighs> Inhale, exhale. <sighs> Stay with me for five. Four, three, two, and last one. Palms back, lean forward. Tricep press it back. Tricep press it back. And we don't have to lean too far forward, and you can soften the knees if you need to. Keep those hands close to your hips. Don't flare them out too far, keeping them nice and tucked in. Focusing on the triceps, not the shoulders lifting up. Almost there, stay with me just a little longer on this one, okay? Five, four, three, two, and let's release. Now, big circle up to the sky and big circle down. Circle up and down. We're gonna make our way to the floor in just a moment. Stay with me, five, four, three, two and let's release it down we're going to come onto the floor we're going to use our long band first so long band we're going to place it around our feet and we're going to bring our legs up to the sky so from here check that your knees aren't bent too much obviously if you've got tight hamstrings and you need to bend them a little that's fine but the goal is to stay straight now my arms are gonna be straight as well. I'm not bending at the elbows. I'm gonna lift up so I can grab my band above my knees and straight arms pull down. So my hands are staying close to my hips. I'm not flaring to the side. Now I'm gonna make it more challenging for my abdominals. I'm gonna take my legs long. I can even add a little curl up. And this is more of a Pull down through the lats, triceps, but you can keep your head down. Just don't let the legs go too high above the hips. Five, four, three, two. Now we're going to bend the knees, reverse the grip so the ends are coming out where your thumbs are. Bend the knees at 90 degrees, lock the hands over your shoulders, arms are straight. You're gonna push the legs long and release. 
push the legs long and exhale but don't let the knees go higher than the hips only to the hips arms stay put inhale exhale inhale exhale it up inhale exhale five four, three, two, and one. Now, without the band, take the band off the side. We're gonna, option one, keep head and shoulders down. Option two, just a little lift, just to get on the tips of your shoulder blades. We're gonna take our hands against our knees, just above the knees, and we're gonna take one leg long while the other one is pushing against our hand. You can do this with your head and shoulders down. All we're doing is resisting the leg that's pushing against the hand. Kick and switch. Five, four, three, two, and release butt. We come straight onto the belly, yeah? Because the belly, we are going to go into our plank. So, options in plank, stay on knees and forearms. Elbows underneath your shoulders, forearms pressing into the ground. Start to play with options. Exhale, draw those knees towards your elbows so it's this little lift but without rounding the spine. Stay here with this isometric hold. Don't pulse it. Now, if you want more, you can tuck the toes, lift off the ground. Just don't let the hips come too high, keeping hips around shoulder height. I'm adding a little wiggle. I'm distracting myself from how long I'm in this damn plank for. <laughs> you can add a little shift forward and back. You can add a little walk. You can even come up onto a full plank and walk the plank mountain climber it, anything, anything to stay in a plank position. You decide what you need. If you find yourself struggling, switch position. It can help you level set, reset, and gain a little bit more stamina, a little bit more endurance. Stay with me a little longer. Keep breathing. Keep drawing the belly button away from the floor without rounding your spine. You can do the isometric contraction, pull elbow towards, elbows towards knees or not. We're almost there, stay with me. Stay with me, you got this. Almost there. Almost there, I promise, I promise. Five, four, three, two, and uh, come down on the belly. Uh, <laughs> that was fun, right? Wanna do it again? No. <laughs> so, we're gonna come on to our right side or left side, pick a side actually, any side. Just remember what side you were on. We're gonna lie nice and long with our legs lined up with our hips and shoulders like we're stuck between two panes of glass. We're gonna exhale, float the top leg up, and then float the bottom leg up. Now, not bending at the knee, float the whole thigh up. Give me some flex and pointing toes. Make the toes dance, make the feet dance, just a little. Now take turns, left and right, and make it a little bit of a paddle kick. Paddle kick. Lots of balance, lots of obliques working here to stabilize. Try not to put your hand on the ground to cheat. For balance, like one of these, don't do one of those. Five, four, three, two, and come onto your back before we switch sides. More core work here. Knees come up to over the hips. Feet come together. So I just had to readjust my spine here. We're gonna exhale, fingertips reach past the hips, curl up, and just pulse straight arms. 
Now don't jam your chin down into your chest. Lift chin up just a little bit without arching back. Don't forget to use the pulsating breath if you can. It's Stay with me for five, four, three, two, one, and take the legs up, shoulders and head down. Crisscross at the top. Crisscross the legs at the top. Crisscross top. Now, see if you can bring the legs a little lower, like maybe 45 degrees, working those lower abs. And if you want, take this crisscross into heel beats. Just smack your heels together, straight leg, heel beats. Keep breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth if you need to, but breathe steady, five. Four, three, two, and release the feet down. We're going to come to the other side in just a moment. But first, we're going to press the heels into the ground, lift up the hips, a low bridge. And we're going to tap the feet left to right. Nice little stomping sound. <laughs> but the heels stay put. And we're not tilting with the hips. Everything stays put. You're really activating through the glutes and you're not arching your lower back. Five, four, three, two, and release those toes down. Come down one vertebrae at a time. Just a small windshield wiper with the knees because we're going to come to the other side whatever your other side is, or was, or will be. <laughs> Sometimes my English grammar goes right out the window when I teach, but that's okay. So straight legs, stuck between two panes of glass. Top leg comes up, bottom leg comes up, flex and point the toes. Focusing on the obliques being the muscle that holds this position for you. There's a little bit of inner thigh happening, which is fine, but the focus here is obliques to keep you stable, steady, and balanced. Flex and point, flex and point. Now a little flutter kick, flex and point, opposite toes forward, flutter kick, nice and steady. Focusing on those obliques. And five, four, three, two, and this time we're gonna come onto our belly instead of our back. Gonna push our way up into tabletop. Gonna take our right leg back. Now, before any other movement, give yourself a little calf stretch just because you've earned a calf stretch. But then make sure when you come back into neutral that your left hip is in front of the left knee, not behind. Kick the leg up. Right leg kicks up, hips are stable. <sighs> Try not to arch your lower back. So I'm gonna exaggerate, we're not doing one of these. I'm staying really stable. If that means my leg doesn't come up as high, that's okay. Kicking up and back. <sighs> Five, four, three, two. Release that knee down, bring it in, and we switch sides. First calf stretch, because you earned one. Shifting forward and back. Now, pull those hips slightly in front of the right knee. Kick up. Just a little tap down, straight leg. You're not pulling into the lower belly or the back. You're feeling stable in your torso. Squeezing up and down. Doesn't have to be a big kick. You can keep it nice and low. The goal here is that you're not tilting from the hips the way I'm doing right now. I'm doing it wrong right now. <laughs> now I'm doing it right-ish. <laughs> Four, three, two, and let's go ahead, bring that knee down. We're going to come onto our uh, right side. We're going to do some more movement. Now I'm going to give you some options today. 
So a lot of times when we've done clamshell, we just do it all the way down on our ribs, you know, just this kind of movement. We're gonna try a different one today where we're gonna pull up into the obliques and I'm gonna lift up, keeping my bottom knee down and I squeeze up and down. This is an option. If it's too much, drop down to the original one. Using exhales, now don't droop, keep those hips lifted. Focusing on those obliques, doing that lift. Five, four, three, two, good news, bring it down. Ha -ha. Before we switch sides, pull the right leg forward and left leg comes back. We are in a mermaid pose. I've never seen a mermaid do this, so I have no idea what it's called this. You can grab one of your weights if you want, but it's not necessary. Our right fingertips are gonna come, and I don't want you to use the full hand, just fingertips, because the goal here isn't to crash down, it's to control a side bend and squeeze up. Focusing on the obliques again. So how far can I go without using my hand? Not that far, because I just end up like falling over. <laughs> so, <laughs> inhale and exhale up, two more. And last one. Now before we switch sides, give yourself a nice little ringing twist through the spine, through the length, through the crown of your head. And then we come out of that twist, kick and fling. We're gonna start with mermaid pose on this side before we move our way to the clamshell. So left fingertips, wait if you want it. We're gonna reach over and back. Reach over. Inhale and exhale, pulling back. Give me four more. And three, two, and one. Really sit down. We're gonna do the twist after we do our clamshell. So we're just gonna lift up the right knee, slide our left leg forward, bringing the right leg on top. Now option one, you can come all the way down here. But option two is this lift, not just through the ribs, but I'm lifting my bum cheek up off the ground. <sighs> Inhale, exhale, squeezing it up and down. <sighs> Using your breath. <sighs> Stay with me. Five. Four, three, two, and release. Drop the hips down, coming back into our mermaid, but just to turn and twist to ring out the spine. Come out of that twist and release those legs nice and long. I'm gonna move into some classical saw. Now classical saw, we can do with or without the weights. I'm gonna show without the weights to get us started. Legs can come out to the side. First, give yourself a wiggle. I think we need to wiggle more as adults. <laughs> so just a wiggle feels really good. It's great for this, like any tension you're feeling in your hips, your thighs. Three, two, and let's bring it in. Roll the shoulders up to your ears and then down and back so that the shoulder blades are kind of locked in. Arms out to the side, right hand, left toes and back. Right hand, left toes, left hand, right toes. Now when the hand reaches across, the opposite hand is curling in, like it's trying to catch a ball behind you. Exhale across, inhale back. Inhale, exhale across. Let's go for four, three, two, and last one. 
Now we're going to add another round, but we're going to go for a pulse. So that means we're going to reach and go a little deeper. So it's reach, pulse. Reach, pulse. See if you can go lower on the pulse than the reach. And we're not doing as many. Last one to the left, and last one to the right. Bring those legs forward. We're gonna use our long band again. Now, long band. <laughs> We're gonna place the long band around the right foot. We're gonna bring both ends of the band into our left hand, so it's diagonal. We're going to bend the left knee so that the band and the arm is kind of on the outside. And I'm going to hold it in. This is my anchor. This isn't going to move. But I'm going to lift up nice and tall, float my right leg, and I'm going to squeeze to the side. Using exhales. Side, side. in just a moment but before we do that right leg still has a little bit of work take the band out now make sure you're not rounding through the spine we lift up nice and tall just straight leg just a few inches up and down try not to lean too far back the goal is to be as tall through the spine as possible shoulders over your hips give or take five four three two good news <laughs> really sit down I hate those like I, I, I shouldn't say hate I really, really dislike those. <laughs> I really, really do. So, left foot, band. Bring it through, over to the right. Hug the arm around, have that right knee through, and it's your anchor, it's your foundation. Stabilize nice and tall, lift with the leg, squeeze to the side. Now, this is just to hold everything stable. I am not moving my knee, I'm not turning my torso. It's just moving my leg through the hip joint. Stay with me for five, four, three, two, and release. Take the band out. Yes, we still have to work that left leg just like we did the other. Nice and tall. Just leg raises, which we love. They're so easy right no <laughs> i know she's lifting her leg a few inches but for me i find this super challenging some people this is easy for me this is like my quad wants to cramp up four three two good news oh, take it in give yourself a hug or a wiggle or or, or anything <laughs> right now my thighs are like uh. <laughs> so ease things out Rocking a little side to side. Come a little forward fold. We've still got a few more things to do before we finish up our time. So forward fold, relax your head and shoulders, just a little pulsation. Without forcing, you're not trying to jam your head all the way down if it doesn't want to go. Three, two, and let's come all the way up. We're going to come onto our back. Right ankle on top of the left knee. We're going to sway side to side. Just side to side. Left to right. And then we're going to uncross and switch. Left leg on top of the right knee. And keep swaying. Left to right. Slowing down your breath. And I know we do this stretch pretty much like every class, but it's really one of my favorite stretches. So you're stuck doing it a lot. <laughs> but I also feel it has many, many benefits. So it's happy baby pose. Uncross, bring those knees in, give yourself a little hug, rock a little side to side. And then slide your hands down your shins, reach up for your feet, grab a hold of your feet, press your hips down. The goal here isn't to lift your bum up. The goal is to push the back of your hips down as low as you can. 
pulling the shoulder blades into the earth, having your feet pointing, well, your heels to the sky, the soles of your feet to the sky, and we breathe. Bringing the feet together. Keep those knees nice and wide. It's a Bharatpanasan recline, but you're holding on to your feet, so pick whatever name you want to give it. But right now we're just laying on our back with our knees out to the side, holding onto our feet. And add a little wiggle, just a little sway. And then release the feet down. Allow both knees to just droop or drop. <laughs> droop. Have, I have droopy knees now. <laughs> Drop your knees over to the right, keeping both of your shoulder blades down. Exhale, using the abdominals to bring those knees back up to center, switching sides. Take them all the way over to the left. Still keeping your shoulder blades down and back. Now exhale, using those abdominals, bring everything back through to center. Bring your knees in towards your chest and do a little rocking forward and back if you want, or just roll onto your side. But you're gonna meet me up in seated when you can. Don't worry about rushing in. Cross-legged if you can, doesn't matter which leg is in front. Once we're here, we're just gonna do a few more movements because I really want us to look at what we're doing with our spine. So roll the shoulders up to your ears, down and back, and then let your head roll to the right, and then drop your chin forward up through the left. Don't let it drop back. We're going right back down from the left, forward, and over to the right. Last one forward and down, up through the left. And then just bring your head to neutral. Roll the shoulders up to your ears and down and back again. And this time, kind of rock back. And then pull your chest through this little wave up and back. Two more waves. And last one, rise up. This little twist to the right. And exhale, twist to the left. And come back through to center. Interlace your fingers and then press the palms away and round the shoulders. Lean back a little, this rounding, pressing the palms forward. And then take those same palms up to the sky. Palms up, big stretch. Yawn if you need to. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and then exhale, let it go. <laughs> and that was your Pilates and Mobility.